Hello everyone, Cliff here in the shed as usual. And I'm just about to carry on doing a bit more to the MCO. But before I do that, I would just like to draw your attention to this rather nice warehouse coat I've got on. Now, all the while I've been doing the uh, shed, I've mostly wore my overalls because it was very shitty up here. But um, most of the time when I pop up here to do something or whatever, I just really want to put a lab coat on, a warehouse coat, lab coat, whatever you want to call them. And I did have a few before the fire, but they all got burnt. So I was looking at buying a couple and to buy a new decent ones, they are rather expensive. But I found this wonderful place on eBay where you can get five of these ex-rental ones for 20 quid, including the postage. I'll try and put the name and that up of them somewhere on here. I might not be able to do that, but if you go on eBay and find them, they were South Coast Supplies or something, but um, anyway, I'll try and put their name up on the thing because they are brilliant. They are, they come washed. The only thing about them is they've got little marks on them where they had names or something on them. But for me and my shed, they are perfect. Anyway, enough about that. Let's get on with the lathe. Well, as you can see, I've got the chuck bag on. I've given it a clean up. This is the original Emco chuck that come with this. They're so good, they're so um, well made that, I mean, I haven't cleaned this, I've probably only cleaned it once since I've had the lathe, but when I got it to bits, there's hardly any crap inside it, not even in the scrolls where the jaws go, but certainly not in any of the gearing inside it. Unlike me uh, more modern, cheaper version that I bought for the Myford lathe, I have to clean that one every five minutes when I'm using it. But anyway, chuck's all nice and cleaned and oiled up and ready to go what you can't see or you might just about be able to see let me just zoom in on it is all this oil down here which is coming out of the apron i think i might have just put too much oil in the apron because it's coming out here and on one of the ones around the back you can just see it on my finger probably not really a problem it'll obviously come down to and find its own level and i'll just mop this little bit up so what I'm going to do next is get the lead screw and the drive rod fitted back up through the apron and into their respective holes and screwed on up the other end of the lathe. I think I've got this lined up. <coughs> Hopefully I can get to this because uh, this is the little lock off mechanism. I might have had to put this on first because that's got to go up, up there, bugger. And there are things in the way here. Right, I think I'm going to have to get a magnet on a screwdriver and try and get this bugger in. Well, because life is a pain in the arse, don't think I'm going to be able to get a little bit of metal that this bolts onto to lock the uh, 
to slide off. I am going to have to take this off to do that, but I've got the ump, so I ain't going to do that right now. I'm going to get the towel stock on. I don't know if you can see anything I'm doing, can you? I've got to loosen this off so I can get it. Right, and that goes into that. God, this is heavy. no doubt that this ain't going to be in the right position um, when I get the lathe up and running I'm going to have to turn a point and put a pointy morse taper in the back of that and line it all up again because obviously I've had that to bits so it's going to need setting up but that is essentially the lathe all put back together now I've got to get the DRO back on there. Now, don't suppose I'll show you that. If you want to see me get the DRO stuff back on there, you can uh, have a look at the original video I did putting it on. But I'll get that back on, and then the back box can go on, and and that'll be that. Well, I've got all the slides and all the gubbins back on for the DRO. That was just a case of bolting them back on where they are. I haven't set them up properly yet. I need the um, display and that up for that anyway. And I need it all plugged in. But anyway, that's all back on there. It should be alright more or less. Now I used to have the display mounted on the wall. The monitor, the actual monitor goes on there. And this arm was on the wall and just swivels about on this but I'm going to mount it on this old electrical box that's empty now got the light back on so I'm going to drill a hole in here in the middle and mount it basically mount it on here and then this is going to go back into there and I'm also going to drill a hole through here and mount the tachometer display box on here as well this then should be out of swivel like that like that like that like that anyway that's what i'm going to do now there you go there's my new mount for the tachometer and the dro i would still like to get an actual cover new cover for the dro monitor because that's going to get covered in shit in no time and the tachometer and I've sprayed it all green and tachometer does work it's just not powered up at the moment everything seems to be working and now it's time to get the back on sort the cables out and root them properly and then it'll be time to put some oil in the gearbox and the headstock sort the towel stock out as in align it with a chuck but I'll have to um, turn a point on the chuck so I can align the towel stock but that's it for now I think I'm nearly there 